Not so pale. You're on it. Today, snow is crippling much of the Washington lowlands. DD Mega Doo Doo. I'm sorry, Mangudu. Once it's turned on, the sign will spell out Delhi Cat Essen. Can you demonstrate for us what it's like to brush our teeth's pet just a little bit? Certainly. It's going to be areas of drist and mizzle. Uh, drist and, what am I saying here? Mist and drizzle. I literally combined both. Good to see. Oh, you've been joined by a beautiful lady. There's a man, actually, Derek. Who's. I just kept hearing it. I'm ducking and everything. Died I, in the house. I'm, I got scared. I dropped my hot pocket. Last two years, hundreds have landed in the Summit County Medical Examiner's Office. My brother used to break in our house and steal the TV. But now he's dead. We'll probably sit around and cook some soups and eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and sassy. Bye. Uh, you like the, uh, um... A slight chance of some participation. Participation? Participate? Per, per, it's rain. It's going to bring a possibility of some rain that will be moving into our area. Um, did you grab anything when you walked out the door? I grabbed nothing but two Tortino's pizza out of the refrigerator and my doggie, and we left. That's it. I, I tried to grab some other things, but they wasn't even worth it. I don't know that's why I don't hold on, hold on. What's happening? It's okay. Come a little closer. Do I'm going to stay over here by Joni. Do they know each do They No, hold him tight. Hold I, him tight. Hold him tight. I am. I am. Hold him tight. I am. I am. Right. I am. You got him. I am. Oh, it's okay. All right. All right, Joni. You got him. Um, first and last name, please. Uh, Erica O'Donnell. And can you spell first and last? F I R S T L A S T. <laughs> <laughs> I met your first and last name. Uh, <laughs> well, the sign says that it's four quarters for an hour, but a quarter only gets you 15 minutes. Yeah. So if my math is correct, that's not an hour. That's not an hour, not an but hour. it is. <laughs> and also... A quarter, 15 <gasps> minutes. Welcome back to Fox 2 News at 9 a.m. Time once again to get you caught up on your news headlines. For that, the Hamburglar. <laughs> It's your birthday. I'll let it pass. Thank you. No, I won't. I'll get you later. Live in Hernando, Mississippi, where there's been spottings of a cougar, and that's not it. That looks like a house cat, uh, but we're just feet away from where a local man rolled his cell phone video on what some say is a cougar. I'll be right back with a live report. But what we can say is that it looks for him in Uxbridge, also something uh, that where there may be some concern. He had a 12,000 majority 12, here. 12,000! It's, it's now down to 5,000. 5, some people think it won't happen again. It won't happen again! Thanks it very won't... much, Tim. Lots of people trying to get in on the act there. Hello and welcome. Also on Chef was Constance Landry. She says she's lived here her entire life, almost 80 years, been through just about everything. I'm 80 years old. Well, just about. I'm sorry, Miss Constance. 76 to be exact. No, 75. 75. Are you coming back to New Orleans and New Orleans East? Is the elephant heavy? I'm coming back, baby. Police was trying to do a stop point. The man said no, not today. And they began to race behind each other like cats and dogs. And the police car just twist around like a tornado girl. And the Lord just shook it up and the man just got injured. His head went to one side and his body went to the other side. And girl, he hit the pole. I was actually going to buy me a piece of um, burger from Burger King. And I just stopped right in the middle because my homework just went away. As the adage says, you give a poor man a fish and you feed him for a day. You teach him to, f to fish. You give him, you give him, and, uh, no, 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 no. 
Handle out the pumpkin. I thought it smells. I thought thing. something was smoking. I do see the smoke coming up. Yeah, what happened just, just now? Well, no, because it, it's resting on some paper, and so I didn't want the little tea light to overheat, and then all of a sudden we've got breaking news here at the channel. I told you if the sprinkler systems come on, I'm done for the day. Yeah. Go. <laughs> that is not. Sitting up here looking like not, a mop. Yeah, you don't, you don't want sprinkler system <laughs> and a beautiful weave because they do not go. Ah! Oh, you're beautiful. <gasps> you said it was a weave, right? It's not a weave. <laughs> Good morning, too. It is 5 o'clock right now on your Wednesday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill. I mean, I'm Chris Wickin. I am Kate Merrill. That is Chris McKinnon. And it is a Wednesday, Danielle, because somebody needs to get some sleep. Wow. <laughs> that was the best team. TV moments. <laughs> I've been here at WBC. I've always wanted to be Kate. I texted that to Brianna uh, last night. I said, no, I want to be Kate. No, Carol you don't. Someday. You don't. It's very complicated. You're much better off being you. I caught up with Chelsea and Michael who were jogging by and were nice to just stop for a quick second. And I said, what are you doing running? And you're saying it was really good out? It's the perfect texture for running. Very low impact on its dry snow so your feet don't get wet. It's incredible, though, just to see even people still on their bicycles. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how they do it with the bikes. Like, That's... braking. At least we can control. You know, at worst case, we can just slide right through a stop sign. We've seen a lot of people out here, like you said, running, sledding, just enjoying it. One thing, oops, that can happen, unfortunately. Looks like Chelsea's okay. You okay? Yes, okay. I'm gonna have to jump into the water, actually. I'm gonna be very careful because I've got this sound pack on. But Sarah Vasey, Adam Peaty, Sean Marie O'Connor, Ben Proud and James Guy, congratulations. Oh, I didn't see the step. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Well, that's giving you all a good life. Adam's inconsolable there. Just look before you're getting in a swim pool in future, OK? I hope you can still hear me. I'm going to have to get rather close and mind the set. Can you continue, Sarah? Because we want to talk about your goal. You don't want to talk about me falling in the water. But also, everyone's, all the people watching here are literally on the floor. And cats, they're not usually known for their love of swimming, but one feline in northern Virginia is hitting the water instead of the gym in an effort to lose weight. Holly is a 13-year-old cat who dislikes the outdoors and other physical activities, but with encouragement from her owner and weekly visits to the Old Town Pet Resort. <laughs> Holly has managed to lose one pound in six weeks. <laughs> Stay with us, everybody. We've got a lot more to go. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Morning, too. It is 5 o'clock right now on your Wednesday morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill. I mean, I'm Chris <laughs> oh I am Kate Merrill. That is Chris McKinnon. And it is a Wednesday, Danielle, because somebody needs to get some sleep. Wow. <laughs> that was the best team. TV moments since <laughs> I've been here at WBC. I've always wanted to be Kate. I texted that to Brianna uh, last night and said, no, I want to be Kate. No, Merrill you don't. Someday. You don't. It's very complicated. You're much better off being you. I caught up with Chelsea and Michael who were jogging by and were nice to just stop for a quick second. And I said, What are you doing running? And you're saying it was really good out? It's the perfect texture for running, very low impact on its dry snow so your feet don't get wet. It's incredible, though, just to see even people still on their bicycles. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how they do it with the bikes, like That's... braking. At least we can control, you know, at worst case, we can just slide right through a stop sign. We've seen a lot of people out here, like you said, running, sledding, just enjoying it. One thing, oops, that can happen, unfortunately. Looks like Chelsea's okay. You okay? Yes, okay. I'm gonna have to jump into the water, actually. I'm gonna be very careful because I've got this sound pack on. But Sarah Vasey, Adam Peaty, Sean Marie O'Connor, Ben Proud and James Guy, congratulations. Oh, I didn't see the step. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> well, that's giving you all a good life. Adam's inconsolable there. 
just look before you get in a swim pool in future, okay? I hope you can still hear me. I'm going to have to get rather close and mind the set. <laughs> can you continue, Sarah? Because we want to talk about your goal. You don't want to talk about me falling in the water. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Everyone's, all the people watching here are literally on the floor. And cats, they're not usually known for their love of swimming, but one feline in northern Virginia is hitting the water instead of the gym in an effort to lose weight. Holly is a 13-year-old cat who dislikes the outdoors and other physical activities. But with encouragement from her owner and weekly visits to the Old Town Pet Resort. <laughs> Holly has managed to lose one pound in six weeks. <laughs> Stay with us, everybody. We've got a lot more to go. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. So uh, you're going to do a spoken word for us now, right? Right. And uh, tell us what we're about to hear. It's just a freestyle. Okay. I'm just going to think it up as freestyle. I Freestyle. Well, let me sit back. Go ahead, Marshall. Okay. Years ago, they tried to... Years ago, they tried to put me in the... Uh, this is a lie. Mm-hmm. Did you want to try to read something from your book? Yeah. The question is how do democracies respond to those scandals? Uh, and what will it mean for, uh, for the wider region? I think one of your children has just walked in. I mean, shift it, shifting, shifting sands in the region, do you think relations with the North may change? Um, I would be surprised if they do. <laughs> the, um, pardon me. <laughs> pardon me. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> What was this going to be for the region? My apologies. North, uh, sorry. Um, North Korea, North, uh, South Korea's policy choices on North Korea have been severely limited. Now to the story of a pig that is inspiring others. One pot, <laughs> one pot belly pig has certainly endured his share of problems. Chris P. Bacon was born without the use of his. Yeah, you have to read this story. <laughs> we should not. Oh my god. <laughs> First, let's send it over to Mike Rizzo, who has a look. Ooh, look at later li Lady uh, Liberty. Lady mm -hmm. Liberty. 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 Sorry. <laughs> Gianna and I clearly just had a moment. Uh, <laughs> a how's the weather, Mike? <laughs> oh, man. Just All right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just <laughs> this way. Oh, no. <laughs> 83 degrees to... <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> 67 in Bedford Park. We're going to see the temperatures in the upper 60s this morning. A sticky situation at an airport in Tennessee after baggage was sprayed with raw sewage. Sprayed? I know. Well, Soil is one of those words. There's yeah. just no way to say it. It just no. yeah, sounds like a yeah. chunky moisture. Oh. <laughs> it's just it's the two, ah. it's the two words yeah. you hate. Yeah. yeah. Corn? No. How'd that get on my bag? Okay, too far. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Just wait, wait, wait. This is just it. We're on TV. We're on TV. <laughs> There are people watching. We're not in a private area. <laughs> Just FYI. Oh my.
my gosh. <laughs> well, more bodily functions in the news this morning. The next time you pass gas, make sure no police are around. A man in West Virginia faces assault charges after police say he passed gas and fantasy. <laughs> The officer. I mean, don't laugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> after the man was already arrested for DUI, <laughs> according to police reports of St. Cruz, I can't even get through this. <laughs> you he passed the gas so loudly, the officer said it was, quote, very odorous <laughs> and created. <laughs> and created contact of an insulting or provoking nature. Mr. Anchorman. See, that wasn't even right. That was, to put that story in there was wrong. That was wrong, man. I didn't even see it when I was looking through the script. He stuck that in there. Very odorous. Chipotle trying to help you be a better you out there, okay? New bowls. It's got new bowls that accommodates popular diets. There's a keto bowl, paleo bowl, Whole30 diet bowls. They all have big rules about what you can eat. Oh, you mean those like the tortillas that they make when you order a bowl and not a burrito? Is that what you're talking about? No, you can get a bowl at Chipotle. Just in a little bowl. And the certain ingredients <laughs> go to a certain diet. How do you not know this? I mean, I do, but I'm so confused about what you're talking about right now. They're offering paleo diet friendly bowls. That has nothing to do with burritos. <laughs> Just the stuff that's inside. <laughs> but why would you eat the bowl? You don't eat the bowl. <laughs> when you have cereal, do you eat the bowl as well? So what does it matter if it's paleo or not? It's what's in the, it's the ingredients. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, ch the chicken, the lettuce, those things. <laughs> what's our weather? <laughs> Okay. A British man who took on a goat's eye view of the world has been rewarded for his efforts. Because we're all completely trapped inside our own brain and our own perception of the world. I can't make this stuff up. Thomas Thwaites had a set of prosthetic legs built and spent three days living among goats in the Alps. He did it because he, he wanted a simpler life. And he says it was fascinating. A little bizarre, though. The weights co won an IG Nobel Prize for Biology with another man who tried living as several different animals. <laughs> the IG Nobel Awards. The IG Nobel Awards honor research that may seem bizarre <laughs> or amusing, but actually provokes thought. Kevin, I'm so You guys. <laughs> a Russian peasant gave birth naturally to no six, drugs. No drugs at all. 16 sets of twins, seven sets of triplets, wow. and four sets of quadruplets. Hey, How is that even possible? It's crazy. Uh, well, we've already explained the cow chip to you this morning, <laughs> so I don't want to explain anything more. That's we'll true. Just, That's just true. leave it at that. She's got quite the uterus. We'll just say that much. <laughs> <laughs> Satellite radar shot this morning. I'm just saying. You're just saying. I know you. you I can't believe you said that. <laughs> Satellite radar. Clear skies. 73. That's what her husband said. <laughs> Too such a hot human. We got to get serious because we got the news to do. Back, <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> oh my! All right. A family's Christmas decorations nearly caused one man a heart attack. Please hold on. All right. Can you reach it? Can you reach it? The man in Austin, Texas, thought. <laughs> This dummy was a real person. <laughs> Nest Cam video shows the man rush over, grab a ladder, and call for help. He even called 911. The family, found the family put up the dummy to pay homage to a, a, a Christmas scene from, uh, from a movie right there. The Griswolds, right? You know, Christmas vacation. <laughs> and uh, they are trying to find the man to give him a gift because they say 
it, his heart was in the right place. Now he felt it. Oh no! He, felt, he said, he said, he said, can you reach it? Yes. Can you reach it? It's gotta be a good Samaritan there. It's making me cry. My goodness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want him around if you were stuck on the roof one day? Can you reach it? All right. Well, we are. Hoping to reach temperatures like we saw yesterday. It was nice and warm spring like yesterday. Let's check in with meteorologist Karen Mitten in the Severe Weather Center, too. Karen. That's a great day. I love it. Oh, we need more of that laughter. That's great. That guy was wonderful. <laughs> The story is really hilarious to Jessica. I'm sorry, we were uh, watching our friend Ellen DeGeneres. Our um, good friend. Our good Shout friend. Her all the time. In the commercial break, she was talking about aspirin, and it's hilarious. Uh, Valentine's Day is just over a month away. And if hey. you're looking for a getaway, you don't have to go far. You don't have to go far for this. Datingadvice.com released their list of the top 10 most romantic cities in North America. Just so you know, Ellen's new special on Netflix, Relatable, is hilarious. And is that is, where this is coming from? That's where this is coming from, and it is very relatable. Okay. Shout out to Ellen. Okay. <laughs> Got it. All right, as you prepare breakfast this morning, grab those milk cartons. <laughs> Today is National Milk Day, a day I'm sure you have been looking forward to celebrating. <laughs> milk, oh, what are we going to describe? The script says to describe what milk is used for. So here we go. <laughs> milk can be in numerous things like cereal, baking, a beverage. <laughs> because that's World Milk Day. <laughs> Some scary moments for customers at a Kansas Home Depot. Police responded to reports of a bomb threat at the store in Wichita. A customer alerted employees. A man inside the bathroom said there was a bomb in the building. Police were able to locate the man responsible for those comments, and that man told police he warned other guests to leave the restroom because he was, quote, uh, fixing to blow it up, but had no intention of causing a panic. Man also told police others in the room laughed, understanding his joke, which I'm just now getting. <laughs> Home Depot says they will not be pressing charges. But I can tell you right now, you asked the producer for me to read that, didn't you? <laughs> to Ethan now, please. No. <laughs> Have to go to a no, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. <laughs> All right, we're, we can do this. <clears throat> All right, uh, turning now to an impassioned plea in a string of thefts. Uh, police are searching for several thieves believed to have stolen a 400 year old bonsai tree. <laughs> the missing tree seen here. <laughs> Stands about three feet uh, tall and two and a half feet wide. <laughs> With more than 400 points and